making sure I'm all on the camera there. It's it, a few wrinkles here and there. They're really not going to matter much. It's going to just make it look a little bit more natural. A ruler would work really well for this step as well if you don't have a bone folder or you're like me a lot of the time and you can't find your bone folder currently. I don't know. We don't do that stuff, right guys? I do that stuff. I am the worst. So it has basically an entire, like one strip here. And you just get this strip down. I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife just to trim it off. Of course, washi tears super easy, so that works well too. Don't be worried about how to tear that off. And there you have it. It's adhered to your tape. And you can see like the tape itself pretty much disappears. And now it looks like you almost have this uh, beautiful floral kind of printed on your white paper. Then it's as easy as you literally just grab this die and you just sort of line it up. And then you're gonna cut it out on whatever die cut machine you use. Uh, I have a big shot, I also have a cuddle bug uh, that would work you know, just about if you have one of those fancy electric ones, those are awesome, highly recommend. Give me just a second to take a sip of coffee. So you just put it down. I always use some post-it tape before I run it through my die cut machine. And then you just run that through your die cut machine and your flowers are cut out perfectly. Awesome. Something else I wanted to show you though with it real quick, and this is just a scrap. It's actually not going to be long enough for the whole strip, I don't believe. But I wanted to show you that you could take a color and you're going to get, if you put a color behind this washi, you're going to get a different kind of look. And I, per, you know, a pink would be beautiful under here. It's going to give you a different look to your florals. And look, I did have just enough. Look at that. Show me. Must be living right, I guess. That's a grandma saying. Sorry about that. But there you go. And you can see how that's going to have a different look than the white. I like them both. I think they're both great. Uh, so then what I did, uh, and this is also by Pink Fresh, the cards that they showed in the trade show used this other little great fun die that is these like stitched circles. And the fun thing about these, oh, through the magic of television, by the way, there is my cutout florals. And you can see that I didn't get it lined up perfectly when I did this one. It shifted a little when I put it through the machine. Honestly, that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, use more post-it tape to tape it down. Um, use your magnetic cutting plate for your die cut machine, Just or just be more careful. Or honestly, just embrace the look of it being a little wonky. So you can see that these would make amazing embellishments tucked in behind some photos on a scrapbook page. And they said that you get about 40 uh, of the individual prints in each roll of tape. So that's a lot of cards, some great scrapbook pages. You know, you could do almost a whole album where you added a little bit of these. If you went to say, this one's hibiscus, hibiscus so you know, Hawaii has a lot of hibiscus, somewhere tropical, and you could put a little bit on each of your pages throughout a whole album to sort of add that continuity. I like to do kind of tricky things like that. But so something else that they have at Pink Fresh, and I don't have them here, Hannah did show them the other day. They also have stamps and stencils that go with each of the different florals. So for example, I apologize for not having them here. I will link them uh, if possible, or at least give you a better description of them or some photos of them. But they do make a stamp and stencil that is this same hibiscus. So let's say you don't like this purpley color. You don't like this like peachy color. 
you can totally make it or you run out of the once you run out of the washi by all means buy the stencil or buy the stencil buy the stamp and then you can have your own for as long as you want and you can keep making this even after your one washi roll runs out but i just loved the washi i think it's so fun and so cool uh, then what they did in our class at the trade show is they used it in conjunction with this circle die this circle die is neat because, and I'll show you kind of on the two sizes here, you can use the circle die as a single circle. You can, and I apologize for my dirty workstation too. I'm working on that. It'll get better. You can use it two together and sort of make a ring, or you can use just the individual circles. It does come with the two. So the other thing that I did is I cut out and use the center. So you could use the center on something as well. This would be cute framing a photo. But what we did with it is made cards. And I will show you briefly just kind of how it just so happens that those new Catherine Pooler inks right there, uh, the, this set of inks that part of their new spa collection or an add on to the spa collection of Cat from Catherine Pooler will work beautifully with this, the colors in this washi. So I'm gonna grab my new matcha ink pad I just picked up the other day. And I'm just going to take my card base and just sort of add some of this green behind it. Those of you who know me, you know I like color. I uh, can't do anything that's too plain. Something else that would be fun, though, would be to take the uh, the rings and color those or use colored cardstock for those or uh, whatever you however you wanted to use those. But I think that would be a fun addition. So I'm going to add the colored co the a little bit of color to my background. Then I'm going to take, let's say those bigger circles. Let me grab something I forgot here. I thought I had everything. Of course I didn't, because that's how it works, right? Well, 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 well. sorry guys. I do not know for the life of me where my phone bath got off to. So we'll just have to use some foam tape. Anna has this in the store as well. Uh, but if you haven't used them, what I was looking for is those rolls of the dots that have like the foam dots and they have like a little tab on them. Those are one of my current favorite things to use in the world. I absolutely love those. Uh, I cannot get enough of them. I keep buying them. It's sort of insane. All right. So that's enough little foam to say that I have foam. I'll probably go back and add a little bit more on this later. I really just kind of put down this circle. But see, that. so what I did with the foam is it was able to sort of adhere those circles together for me, as well as um, adhering it to the page and popping it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna choose a sentiment, and I'm just using these amazing sentiments. They're also from Pink Fresh. I believe they just came back in the store. Um, if not, I'm fairly certain we can still get those for you at the store itself. I am going to pick this one because the color just matches my uh, flowers exactly there. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And then I'm just gonna pick a few flowers 
from all of those florals to pop down on there. I'm going to use a couple of the smaller ones, but you would of course use whatever you like. And I generally speaking use far more adhesive than I probably need just because I do. And then last but certainly not least, I love these little flat back sparkly things. Metallic pearls, this color is called Sparkling Champagne. I just think it adds like a fun little bit of a different color to these cards and it sort of looks rose gold which is my jam and I love it so of course I'm going to use it if you have not used this Nouveau glue highly recommend It works beautifully and I don't know about you but wet glue is something I struggle with I hate wet glue uh, and I always like think I found the one right and then I get disappointed because then it's not the one so at the moment this could be the one guys this this Nouveau glue it might be the one. It might be the forever wet glue that I want in my life, but we'll see. Is that weird to talk about glue like that? Well, I don't know, we'll go with it. So, you get the idea. There you have it. it seems to be hot enough today that my hands are sticking, or good enough at sticking to these. You could use tweezers too, but just like my bone folder, I don't know where my tweezers got off to. They're around here somewhere. So, there you go. And then per my husband's instruction, the only thing I have left to do is my cute little handy dandy name stamp. Isn't that cute? He had that made for me. I know, he's, he's a keeper. I think I'll keep him around. We just had our anniversary the other day. So, there you go, one cute. Pink Fresh Studios card. Paint just needs, or paint. Glue just needs to dry. Here's the couple options that we made in the class uh, at the trade show that I took. You can see very similar idea. Use the small circles, use the big circles. I liked the ink back behind my pages. Uh, don't forget, try it on colored paper as well. Uh, I'll get, maybe I'll get this one made up to show you guys too. I just love this set. I think they're super fun. If you have any questions, certainly if you'd like to place an order, you can either message us here on this video, uh, contact us through private message at the Doodlebug, or just give us a call. Thanks so much for watching. This is Sean for the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Hi! This is Sean from the Doodlebug in Jasper, from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and I hope you have a wonderful day.